Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I'm going to try and um, walk and talk at the same time as you. We'll see what happens. But yeah, the sun is beaming in my face. So it may not be the best lighting. And I will be going under some trees at various points. So we we'll see how that works out. But I want to try this and see how it goes. And yeah, it's really, really nice looking around here at a local a lake at the university that I come to quite often. And yeah, I wanted to be completely transparent with all of my viewers and announce that I'm currently no longer eating one meal a day. And I'll explain to you in full detail why, and this is not clickbait at all. This is the 100% truth for now. This may change in the future. But yeah, the reason why I'm no longer eating one meal a day, after doing it from January up until just recently, so I've been doing it for how long? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, around eight months. And it's been a really amazing journey. And as I mentioned in my earlier videos, how I embarked on this journey of one meal a day was very simple. I was aware of it for a while and I tried to get myself to eat this way, but I couldn't get it to work. But then one day I just found that my body started wanting to eat that way and it just started working for me. So that's why I stuck to it for so long. But what I will say is for around the past week or so, I started to find that I wasn't feeling as great with eating one meal a day. And when I say not great, my mood wasn't as good. It wasn't as stable. I found that my energy levels were nowhere near as good and stable throughout the day and I found that it just kept crashing in the afternoon and I was doing all of the things that I know that I need to do to make one meal a day work for me and what was happening was which I just become aware of recently that I was just forcing myself to eat one meal a day even though my body was saying it's not good to do it so my mind was getting in the way which is not good so then what started happening while this experience is going on is I started to think, mm, maybe I won't eat one meal a day for the rest of my life. Maybe I will go back to eating two meals a day instead of one. And it just kept going round and round in my head. And then two days ago, I felt really drawn to eat some food. And my energy levels were low. So I was like, okay, let's experiment. I'm someone that always likes to try out new things. And as soon as I ate, and I ate around 18 hours into fasting, I just felt so alive and energized and just felt amazing holistically. So yeah, I was like, okay, this is a really good sign that, yeah, this is something that I need to be doing. And then I ate food later on and still I ate the same amount of calories that I normally would, around three to 4,000 calories for my dinner meal. And then I ate again around two hours later on, if I remember correctly. I had loads and loads of vegan ice cream and before that I had loads of vegan Thai food and all these vegan burritos and stuff and I felt absolutely amazing that day and when I woke up the next day I just felt so much more alive and just with it and switched on so it was a massive sign to me from my body telling me it was the right thing for me to be doing so then that brings us up to yesterday and I've been going through the, all these different like thought processes and just being very aware and mindful and what I was aware of is once I started this the other day I just kept thinking oh, I could eat food here and there and there and there and it was like no what it is is my mind is just wanting me to eat food because now I've started eating food it thinks that I could just eat loads of foods here and there and I just wanted it for taste satisfaction so it's really good for me to be mindful and aware of that so the conclusion I came to yesterday was like hmm if I'm feeling energized and feeling really good I don't need to be eating so that is the type of mindset that I've been applying since yesterday and with today as well and it's working really well for me and what I'm doing since yesterday is fasting around 17 hours and I'm not trying to set a specific time for me to fast and a specific eating window for me to eat what I'm doing is taking it day by day and listening to my body some days I may fast longer some days I may fast shorter but I only want to stick to two meals a day because I know intermittent fasting is the best and I know eating breakfast would not make me feel good and I stopped getting all those amazing intermittent fasting benefits short term and long term to maximize my life expectancy optimize my hormone production and a whole host of other benefits that have been scientifically proven to give you when intermittent fasting so yeah it's a really new 
interesting little experiment for me and what I was finding the times that I was not feeling so good with one meal a day recently that I was pushing my body to fast longer than it wanted to and my energy levels just started dropping rapidly and my body was going into a very strong stress response where my cortisol and adrenaline levels were getting higher and then I found I was getting more agitated in my day more angry as well and it was just not good whatsoever so yeah I will keep you updated on this journey and be completely transparent with what's going on but yeah I could go back to one meal a day who knows but yeah, I'm not going to force myself to do something that my body doesn't want to do. And I'm going to do exactly what it is wanting me to do as I am currently doing now. And that's just something I just want to share with you. A lot of people that try and get on this one meal a day journey, they have tried to force it too much. And their body's telling them it's not good at all. And then they contact me and say, why is it not working? I said, well, your body's obviously not ready for it or you're not doing things right. But if you're doing all the things right and it's still not working, then yeah just don't do it at all but just try and do at least 16 hours of fasting a minimum and if you can do more then do more obviously the longer you fast for the greater benefits you can get unless it's starting to have certain negative effects like it was on me and I'm someone that comes from a background of adrenal fatigue and I do have a lot of stress in my life and a lot going on I do train a lot so yeah intermittent fasting is a form of stress and it can be detrimental for certain people in certain situations and it was for me so yeah that's just something to be very very mindful and aware of and if you'd like me to make some what eat in a day videos with this intermittent fasting diet which is normally known as a 16 8 intermittent fasting diet where you normally fast around 16 hours a day and eat for an eight hour window but for me i am sort of yeah like i mentioned fasting for around 17 hours and then I am trying to eat roughly, not forcing myself. If it doesn't go that way, it doesn't go that way. I'm just doing whatever. Um, around a five to six hour window of eating, but only normally having two meals within that time period. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like. If you like the video, don't forget to share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis so i'm going to leave it there because there's a load of people making a lot of noise and don't make sure i mean not don't make sure i mean make sure if you want to be notified of when new videos are uploaded that you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace